Hey guys, Basil and Will from Grayson Hobby, and today we are going to fly the Dytone 200 Normal, and we're going to use a radar gun on it. And we're going to see if the stretch is slower or faster than the regular one. So we're going to try the 5046s for a baseline on to get a baseline on the normal. And then we're going to switch them over to the 5050s like you see here. Right. So if you remember our video last time, it was the most hottest, miserable day I've, I think I ever had. <laughs> All right. So quick note, wardrobe change. I was sweating so bad. It's so hot out here today. That one, the stretch actually got 98 miles an hour with the longbow batteries. Yes. And so I'm hoping this guy gets over 100 miles an hour. I know in theory they probably are going over 100 because you have the um, angle and the, what do you want math. to call it? Yeah. All the science and yeah. math. So technically they probably got R, but it's what is more cool to see this thing go triple digits. So do you think we'll hit triple digits today? Well, yeah. If he says we will, we'll, we'll or we got 50 50 props. We have crash to trying. Try. All right, so if you like our video, please subscribe below. And if you, for all your FPV needs and other airplane drones, you name it, visit GraysonHobby.com. Everything is in stock in our U.S. warehouse located right outside Atlanta. <laughs> oh, what's well, your quad? So yes, yeah. we will try. All right, so here it is. All right, before Will gets here, I am going to put this together or assemble this uh, baseball backstop. That way, if I get hit, probably won't stop a drone that's going 100 miles an hour with razor blade props. All right, so we got this camera on a tripod, the camera here and a GoPro. There's a camera, a GoPro over there, and the camera GoPro on the GT200 Strek. Now last time we got 90, what, 96, 98? 98. 98, now hopefully we figured out with the gun, I have to do it about 90 feet out before I can hit the trigger. It is to jump back and forth between the net, although this net is Ready? really not gonna do anything. Yeah. So I'm gonna get on the edge over here. You ready? Yep. 91. With the GoPro? 91 on the first pass, and this has a GoPro, I forgot to mention. Here we go. That one, I don't think I got a right reading, because that was at 81. Let me jump back here. 89, so that's probably a little better. Eighty-three. Although I hit it a little early. I think I wasn't in the position, so. Where is he? Ah, bum reading again. Bum reading. You ready? Yeah. Ninety-one. That's like your sixth pass at ninety-one, man. Ninety-one. Ah, uh, that got in the way. That was that seemed yeah, faster. I'm going to get low. All right, this is the tattoo battery, by the way. 90. 90, 90, 90. Last pass. Last pass. There we go. 80, 83. All right. That was over my head right there. All right, so we got consistently in the 90s, low 90. That was the tattoo. What size tattoo? 1550, 75C. 1550, 75C. Last time we were getting about 94, if I recall right, 94 miles an hour with that um, battery. But this time we have a GoPro Session 4 on there. Yeah, which surprisingly didn't slow it down. It slowed down five miles an hour, which is not that bad, honestly. So the next pack is gonna be the Longbow 1550, the ADC Graphene. And we're gonna run the, the regular GT, um, not the Stretch, the regular one, this, the, X, the True X on Cyclone 5046s. This is the same um, pack and props that hit the stretch at 98. So we're hoping today that I've kind of did some minor R&D on the gun. You gotta do it about 90 feet. You gotta pull the trigger. Last time I was pulling it way, way, way out there. So that was probably gonna give a little bit of bad reading. So this time, last flight, I think the only two times I got a bad reading was when I was screwing up. Yeah, so. and this is gonna be the non-stretch normal version with a longbow uh, 1550 ADC graphene on it. Um, no GoPro. No GoPro, and we're gonna stick with the Dow 5046s like we did in the last video. So, so this be a good comparison, yes. and then we'll try the 5050s after right. that. Yep. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Is again. I stand behind this. If I see I him come down, I'll duck. 
and I'll duck and it comes this far into my thing. So I need to stay back a little bit here. About like that. Alright. Way up there in the sky was 84. 84. Ready? I'm ready. There we go. 95, 95. That was by the fifth or sixth pass, so. Why do you not be so close with 94. The motors weren't screaming that time. 94. 88. Sagging. Oh, yeah. 88. Doc, you going? 81, 81. 76. So we're consistently getting slower and slower. Or the gun's just getting tired. So, uh, total disappointment in the gun reading this time. I spoke too soon. The last time it, for the stretch, it worked, no problems. I said it was great, and sure as crap, I got crappy readings. Um, 94, I got 194 reading. Yeah, it actually seemed really quick in the beginning. Yeah, I cartwheel a little bit, yeah. man. So uh, really hard to see with a lot of tilt on the camera to see the ground, so you end up kind of having to guess where you come in. All right. <laughs> yeah, totally disappointing the gun, um, but 95. 94, 95, yeah, I caught that one. So, uh, you want to give that one another run with another pack? Yeah, I, I want to try it again. All right, ready? I'm ready, Freddy. As I just turn on the radar gun. You ready? I'm ready. 77. I can hear that thing slowing down a ton. 77. 68. 68. That's like bad. 25, and we just realized we didn't have a charged battery. I don't think I mentioned today's weather is absolutely gorgeous. It's about the low to 83, 80 degrees. There's probably five mile an hour winds right now. Gusting, or excuse me, zero, gusting the five. Um, we're gonna try, I got a 1300 ADC graphene. I just okay. remembered I had. Um, still running the 5046 props. I really wanna try the 5050s next, but 5046 props. Another graphene. Let's just right. try. Um, let's try to get the top right. speed with these props first. Dang bug. Um, yeah. I got to be about 100 feet. I got to turn on, just hit the trigger when he's about 100 feet away. That's what the manual says, and that's actually the result I'm getting. But it's just hard to judge when he's going that way. Okay, here we go. All right, and he hit the field now. <laughs> Nothing. Not even yeah, zero. Just listen. You can hear the yeah. ADCs do not sag. Ready? Yep. <laughs> here we go. Huh? 90. 90 miles an hour. Right there. Alright, ready? Uh, no. Yep, ready. <laughs> Says 79. I don't know if I believe it. Yeah, wait to punch it, though. Ready? Yep. <laughs> 22. That's wrong. 86. 86, 86. Ready? Nope. Ready? Alright, ready. 92. 92. Ready? Uh, yeah. Wow, how about that? 92 again. 92 again. Ready? Yeah. 90. 90. 90. Last pass. All right, last pass. Hey, at least you could say it's consistent. 90 again, so. 92 is the highest in that one. It's kind of disappointing. So we have the Diatone GT200. Stretch version. Stretch version with the 5050 props. This is gonna suck the life out of those batteries. But, but uh, hey, we gotta hit triple digits. So this has the GoPro session on with the 5050s. If we do break 100 miles an hour, that would be very impressive. 5050 props. Cyclone 5050, stretch S with the GoPro session. 89, 89, 89. What? All right, ready? Yep. <laughs> Nothing. You gotta be kidding me. Nope. Ready? Ready. 95, 95, 95 with the GoPro Get session. faster with the prop. Ready? Yeah. That way, it doesn't like that way for some reason. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> 102 miles an hour! Yeah. Awesome. Right, 102 miles an hour! Nope. Ready? No! <laughs> That 
That was crazy, man. Ready? Yeah. Hold on. Nothing. Not 102. Ready? Yeah. 96. Did I hit it? 96. 96. 96 seems like it's standing still compared to 102. Ready? Yeah. 85, 85, 85. Last pass, last pass. 89. 89. I'll be honest with you, Will. At 102, I thought it was an A. I thought it was an A. Yeah, you quit, you quit yeah, after 102, I'm like, uh, yeah. It's unplugged. 100 unplugged. and two miles an hour. You did it. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> and that's the Cyclone 50-50s. 50-50. So we got an increase. Well, average, we hit, what, 95, 96 a couple times? Yeah. So an average, I would say, realistic five mile an hour increase with the props. It did seem to sag the battery lower as I was going. The voltage was lower on the reading. Yeah. Um, didn't seem to eat that much more milliamp. I was really expecting really? it to really suck the battery down. I mean, we got two things going. You have the heavy GoPro. Props. And the quad's not the lightest of the styles to begin with. Right. So it's one of those things, it's... Uh, it's pretty impressive well, how fast it's going. I was, I won, I knew it would hit the triple digits, but it was just, you had to see it on the screen. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I don't know how <laughs> or why he does this. Um, Cause if I screw up one time, well, you're gonna have a little, uh, I'm on my net. It looks like the stretch is actually faster. It, it feels faster. Like, I mean, as far as going, um, it definitely feels more locked in y'all wise. I'm not yeah. getting any like kind of float to it. Right. Um, again, the other one's not, this one is my personal one. So it's definitely got a little more time and adjusting some of the PIDs right. on it. Um, and I've really more catered this one for the speed test. It's really more set up for that. Gotcha. Whereas the other one, it was just kind of set up more out of the box, more freestyle, gotcha. I guess. Um, but and so inconclusively and unscientifically, the stretch is faster. Yeah. And the best part is you, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bunch of bugs I've hit on the way. So cool. Charge up another battery. Let's try it again. All right. <laughs> All right. Last flight of the day. The sun's setting here. We got the Diatone regular X with the 50, 50 props. Um, put some 50, 50 cyclones on it. Um, we're running the graphene 1550 from earlier. Um, yeah. So same quad, different props. And you did a little bit between two, uh, two, I lowered the pitch just a hair yeah. cause I think it was oscillating a little bit at right. high end. Um, so we kind of do our best here to get the, all the things equal here. Yeah. So. This, this one's not really tuned yet. It's kind of right. Well, let's go. All right. Let's Ready? Yep. 86. Oh. 86. No. Ready? Uh, yeah. Dang, that was fast. I didn't get any reading. Ready? Yeah. Holy sh Holy! 99, Will! 99! Ready? Yeah. It just likes that way. I must- I don't know. Ready? Maybe it's the sun or something. Yeah. 97! Circle back around. Circle back around. Like, not this side? Yeah, it, for some reason it doesn't like going that way to this way. I don't know why, but we just got 97 miles an hour. 91. 91. On 91. Maybe because I have a more of a... Yeah. Huh. 95! Oh, that That's was so skimmed. close to the ground. That skimmed the ground. I didn't see it, sorry. Ready? Yeah. I, I put the gun on way too soon. I put the gun on way too soon. Ready? Yeah. 96. 96. That's about all we got here. Uh, 96. And apparently the, he hit the ground. I didn't see that. It went. Skimmed across we'll have to look ground. at the video. I didn't see it hit the ground. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, that was skimmed. so close to the ground. That skimmed the ground. Whoa! I didn't it hit, hit the ground. It, it, it went. But it I puckered it? a little bit. Really? Let's look at the battery. I bet it's black. All right, battery unplugged. Battery's unplugged. All right, so 99 miles an hour with the X, True X and the 5050 props with the Graphene Longbow ADC. Yeah, so clearly we're definitely seeing a boost in power by the ADC. So yes. it, it, the higher performance battery does make a difference for speed runs and all that, obviously. Sure, yep. um, it's You're just not sagging. You can hear the motors are staying very high RPM all the way through. Right. Um, whereas the 45C, they'll sag really bad. Um, so there's about a three mile an hour difference between this guy and the X and the and the, and the stretch has the GoPro has the GoPro on it. So you think it's a tuning thing or you think this is just truly faster? 
Well, I noticed it was a little smoother that flight at the top end. Um, all I did was add a little TPA adjustment to it, um, which reduces the PIDs a little bit as it's going a higher throttle. Um, but that helped a little bit for this. I still think this needs to be dialed in a little more, but as far as, I think the X is a hair faster because the props are a little farther out. You have more clean um, air. Yeah, more clean air. And maybe reversing the props opposite direction may oh. change that a little bit, that there's a clear, clean air mod, something right. like that. Well, that's, um, that goes above and beyond what we want. Yeah, that's just test. tinkering and tuning. Yeah. That's personal preference. It's really fast. That first or second pass, I felt it way faster. I mean, when you said 80, I think you said 89 or something like that. Yeah. I was like, there's no way you got a right reading on that one because that was definitely the fastest feeling pass I had through the goggles because I was like, oh, better hold on <laughs> to that one. Um, and, of course, the one pass where I actually skimmed the ground, I skimmed the battery and the, uh, the wire lead and all that, I thought it was going in for sure, and I was like, well, it's Basil's quad, so it doesn't really matter, right? Yes, because this actually is mine. I didn't fly <laughs> it because I was afraid to lose it, A, or B, crash it before we got the speed test. So. And one, I am not standing in front of him flying with the radar. Actually, I'm not standing in front of anyone <laughs> flying with the yeah, radar gun. Uh, no, I'm taller than that net. Well, I was no. scratched. No, I'm good. There you go. Um, inconclusive results that the X is slower than the stretch. Uh, I say inconclusive because... There's so many variables. They're very close. I mean, it, we're, yeah. what, 9,900 to? No difference. I um, mean, our equipment, so I know last time a lot of people kind of commented on we're not using the right equipment, staying in the right spot. If anybody is in the Atlanta, Georgia area, you want to come with your professional radar guns, we'll be yeah. more than happy to have a day where we come out here and just yeah. fly everything we own and gun it. Yeah. But uh, this I'd is what like we got. This is a $100, um, $89, I believe it is. With a more expensive GoPro on top. Yes, and I know they do sell more expensive ones that are $5,000 and... If you want to give us 5000 bucks for one or you want to come out let us borrow yours, that would be cool. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe below because we every call from now until the end of time will be yeah. greater than these. Um, either way, guys, stretch or non-stretch, get which one you think yeah. looks cooler. They really fly, they, they both fly well. They so. do. Yep. All right, thanks.